AI is moving faster than ever, and today I've got five tools that might just blow your mind. We're talking real-time 3D avatars, text-powered anime games, video creation from reference images, AI that understands physical spaces, and instant 3D animation from a single photo. Let's jump right in. First up, your own full-body virtual avatar might be closer than you think. Alibaba recently unveiled something pretty amazing called DAO Avatar. This technology can whip up incredibly realistic 3D avatars that don't just look like real people, but can also talk and move just like them in real time. Seriously, check out some of these examples. The way they interact is mind-blowing. Imagine having a virtual version of yourself or anyone that can hold a natural conversation. So how does it pull this off? It cleverly uses footage from multiple cameras looking at a person to build a detailed 3D model. But the magic doesn't stop there. This model can then be controlled live, allowing the avatar to chat and perform all sorts of actions instantly. In one example, you can see an avatar discussing its favorite food, sushi, because of the flavors and textures, and favorite activities like cooking and trying new recipes. It asks questions back, making the interaction feel very natural. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. And what's your favorite food? My favorite food is probably sushi. I love the combination of flavors and textures. And my favorite activity is definitely cooking and trying out new recipes. What about you? Do oh. you have any favorites? Take a look at some other clips they've shared. Pay close attention to how precise the hands and fingers are. That's often tricky to get right. Plus, the way the avatar talks and shifts its weight just looks so fluid and natural. Honestly, the realism here is on another level, definitely giving things like Apple Vision Pro's built-in avatar creator a run for its money. And here's the kicker, this isn't just some supercomputer demo. DAO Avatar is designed to run in real time even on mobile devices. It can even hit a super smooth 90 frames per second on hardware like the Apple Vision Pro. Beyond just movement, it also has a neat trick for lighting. You can dynamically relight the avatar to match different environments. For instance, they showed the original person where the lighting didn't quite match the background scene. But with the relighting feature turned on, boom, the avatar's white balance blends perfectly, making it look like it truly belongs in that virtual space. If you're curious about the tech behind it, here's a quick rundown. First, you feed it those multiple camera views of the person. The system uses these images to create a 3D mesh, like a digital sculpture of the person. Then, a teacher component figures out how to realistically warp and change this mesh to match different poses and facial expressions as the person moves. To make sure this runs smoothly even on phones, the system bakes these complex movements into a more lightweight network. It also merges details about the body and head shapes and how they move together. Combine all that, and you get your final high fidelity avatar ready to be animated live. Now when you put DAO avatar side by side with other 3D avatar generators, the difference is stark. Tao avatar just seems leagues ahead in quality and accuracy. Pause on some comparison frames and look closely at details like the teeth. Tao avatar is often the only one that generates them correctly and realistically. The same goes for tricky areas like ears and the shape of the mouth during speech. It consistently produces the most lifelike result. Check out another comparison they show. Zoom in on the face and again, Tao avatar stands out as the clear winner among the competition. It even handles challenging or uncommon facial expressions really well. While other generators might struggle or look distorted when asked to make certain faces, DAO Avatar captures them accurately and naturally. The really exciting part? Alibaba seems committed to sharing this. They've already released the dataset they used on Hugging Face. Plus, if you check out their GitHub repository, they mentioned plans to release an open source Android app soon. Think about that. Making this level of incredibly realistic avatar technology open source could be absolutely massive. It could totally revolutionize countless applications, especially some of the ones we've discussed before on the channel. For now, I'll drop a link to their project page in the description so you can dive deeper yourself. This is definitely one to watch. All right. Let's shift gears to something a bit different. This next AI tool is called Anime Gamer, and it does something pretty wild. It aims to create an endless, interactive anime game where you, the player, control characters, and even the environment using just text prompts. Imagine playing a game not with a controller, but by typing what you want to happen next. Let me walk you through an example to show you what I mean. Picture an anime-style game featuring two characters, maybe Sosuke and Ponyo. You could start by typing a prompt like, Boy Sosuke quietly sit in a car. The AI then generates a visual scene showing exactly that Sosuke sitting inside a car. But here's where it gets interesting. The character has stats, 
kind of like in an RPG. In this case, Sosuke has stamina, social energy, and something called entertainment energy. Since sitting in the car is restful, the AI understands this and increases his stamina by 3 points. Then, you could type, Sasuke slowly get off the car. And just like that, the AI generates the next scene showing him getting out. It feels like you're directing the character in almost real time. Of course, getting out of the car takes effort, so this action decreases his stamina by one point, while the other stats stay the same for now. How about prompting, Sosuk and Ponyo eat dinner in a room? The AI generates the scene, and since eating is also restful, Sosuke's stamina goes up by 3. Plus, because he's eating with Ponyo, his social energy also gets a boost, increasing by 3 points. You can keep going, prompts Sasuke and Ponyo walk slowly in a forest, and the AI creates that scene. Walking uses energy, so stamina drops by 2 points, but walking together means social energy increases by 2. They also showed examples like Sasuke shocked by something, and Sasuke run quickly, each generating a corresponding visual clip. Even though it might seem like just a video generator that tracks a few simple stats, isn't that kind of what a basic video game is? It's a sequence of visuals, but the player's input, whether pressing buttons or, in this case, typing text, decides what happens in the next frame or scene. They showcased another example, this time using characters that look like they're from Kiki's delivery service, just to show it can adapt to different styles or characters. Now, it's important to be realistic here, the quality and resolution of the scenes generated aren't exactly high definition right now, and each clip is quite short, only about 2 seconds long. However, even with these limitations, it's a fascinating proof of concept. This could genuinely be a sneak peek at the future of AI-powered role-playing games. Imagine games with no predefined boundaries, stories, or environments, where you can literally prompt the AI to do anything, and it generates the gameplay completely on the fly. The project page has plenty more examples, but yeah, the video quality is consistently a bit rough around the edges. So, this definitely isn't something ready for a commercial release just yet. Still, the underlying idea is incredibly interesting. And the best part? Despite being an early stage concept, the creators have already made everything public. The models are available on Hugging Face, and they've shared a GitHub repository. If you scroll down on the GitHub page, you'll find all the instructions needed to install and run this experiment locally on your own computer. I'll make sure to link the main project page in the description below so you can explore it further if you're curious. It's pretty cool to see such an experimental idea shared so openly. Okay, this next one is genuinely super exciting. Skywork AI has just dropped something called Skyreels A2, and it's a really cool approach to video creation. This AI lets you generate videos by combining different reference images, think characters, objects, and backgrounds, all directed by a text prompt. It takes these separate pieces and stitches them together into one moving scene. Let me give you a concrete example. Imagine you have three separate pictures, one of a man, one of a pug, and one of a beach background. You feed these images to Skyreels A2 along with a prompt like, a man holding a pug on a beach. The AI then works its magic and merges all those distinct elements into a single, coherent video that matches the description. It's pretty impressive how it maintains the look of the man, the pug, and the beach from the original images. Here's another one. Take an image of a woman holding a black umbrella and combine it with a specific background image. Again, the AI seamlessly blends these references to create the requested scene in video format, or how about a picture of a girl with a white tennis racket and a background that looks like a hobbit house. The result is a video featuring that specific girl and racket in that unique setting. This is a seriously powerful tool taking shape here. Look at this other example. The possibilities seem vast. Think about what this means. Soon, pretty much anyone could create almost any scene they can imagine, using any actor, object, or background right from their computer. No need for expensive film shoots, hiring actors, or even leaving the house. All you need are reference images for everything you want in the scene. And if you don't have a specific photo, well, you could probably just use another AI to generate the reference image first. It seems to handle motion pretty well too. Here's a scene with more action. A dog running quite fast at the start, waves crashing in the background, and even a bit of a shaky camera feel. Skyreels A2 manages to keep everything looking consistent throughout the entire video clip. You can even combine multiple characters. They showed a somewhat uncanny example featuring figures resembling Bill Gates, seemingly forcing Angelina Jolie to drink a glass of wine. It definitely has a slightly disturbing vibe, but it shows the capability. Or here's a more straightforward one. Two actors walking together across a bridge. 
Making scenes like this could become incredibly easy. Naturally, a tool like this could be a game changer for things like commercials, especially involving celebrities. Imagine a lipstick brand wants Taylor Swift in their ad. Instead of paying millions for a traditional shoot, they could potentially just plug a reference image of her into this AI, provide an image of the lipstick, and prompt a scene where she's using and loving the product, just like in this example video. Here's another one showing a man talking enthusiastically about a teddy bear. They even tried recreating Steve Jobs presenting an iPhone, but inside what looks like a spaceship. Now, you can spot some flaws here. The phone screen doesn't look quite right, and his fingers might seem a bit off. However, these kinds of issues often stem from the base video generation model it's built upon. As those underlying models continue to improve, it's going to get harder and harder to tell AI-generated scenes like these from actual filmed footage. You could also imagine using this for creating unique music videos, like the example they provided here. Now for perhaps the most awesome part, Skywork AI has already released everything. You can find the models on Hugging Face right now. Even better, they've released it under the Apache 2.0 license. This is fantastic because it's a very permissive license with minimal restrictions, meaning you can pretty much use it for anything you want, even for commercial projects. On top of that, their GitHub repository has all the instructions you need to download the models and run Skyreels A2 locally on your own machine. This level of openness is incredible. Anyway, I'll drop the link to their main project page in the description below so you can check it all out. Definitely worth a look. Okay, moving on to the next tool, and this one is genuinely super cool. It's called Spatial LM. What it does is analyze a video feed, understand the space shown, and then create a detailed 3D map of that area. It doesn't just map the space, it also identifies specific things like walls, doors, windows, and various objects within it. Check out this example they provided. As the video plays, you can see Spatial LM analyzing the room in real time. It correctly identifies pretty much everything. The walls forming the room, pieces of furniture, and other objects scattered around. What's really impressive is that it generates a persistent 3D map. Notice how even when the camera moves around the room, the outlines it has drawn for all the identified objects remain locked in their correct 3D spatial positions. This shows a real understanding of the space itself. You can immediately see how powerful a tool like this could be. It has tons of potential applications. Think architecture, interior design planning, maybe even autonomous driving systems or advanced surveillance, just to name a few possibilities. So, how does it work under the hood? Here's a quick overview. It starts with your input video. It then uses a sophisticated technique. In the example, they mention something called Mast 3 r Slam to generate a 3D point cloud from the video. Think of a point cloud as millions of tiny dots representing the surfaces in the scene. This point cloud data is then compressed by a special encoder to make it easier to process. Finally, this compressed 3D data is fed into a large language model, LLM. The LLM is the brain here. It interprets the spatial data and generates the structured 3D layout of the space, identifying all those elements like walls and furniture. One of the really awesome things is how flexible the output is. Spatial LM can express its understanding in different ways, as raw structural data, a simplified 2D floor plan, or even in industry standard formats that architects and designers use. This makes it a super useful tool for various workflows, Plus, the team behind it is already looking ahead. They mentioned that Spatial LM could be extended in the future to do even more, like interacting directly with humans as an intelligent assistant or empowering embodied agents, basically robots, to handle complex tasks within challenging environments. Because it has that large language model integrated, you can potentially interact with it conversationally, like a chatbot that understands 3D space, for instance, imagine feeding it a video of a bedroom. It reconstructs the layout, showing the bed, desk, chair, etc. Then, you could ask it to change the bed to king size. Here's where the spatial awareness kicks in. Spatial M understands the dimensions and realizes that if the bed gets bigger, the current desk and chair won't fit anymore. So, it intelligently suggests an optimized layout to accommodate the larger bed. Or, instead of a person chatting with it, a robot could use it for navigation. A robot could ask Spatial LM something like, I just finished cleaning the kitchen. How do I get to the bedroom to set up the bed? Since Spatial LM has built that internal 3D map and understands the floor plan, it can provide step-by-step -step directions to guide the robot accurately. It's a really useful and powerful concept. And here's some great news. The code for Spatial LM is already available. You can find their GitHub repository, which contains all the instructions for installing it and running it locally on your own computer. What's particularly nice 
and maybe a bit surprising, is how tiny the models are. They've released two versions, one based on the Llama language model with just 1 billion parameters, and another based on Quen with only 0.5 billion parameters. Both of these are super small, meaning you should be able to easily run this technology locally, even on a regular consumer-grade GPU. That kind of accessibility is fantastic. Anyway, the links are up on their project page, which I'll link in the description below for you to explore further. Okay, last tool for this video, and this one is really cool too. It's called LHM, which stands for Large, High Fidelity, Animatable, 3D Human Reconstruction Model. That's a bit of a mouthful, but what it does is pretty straightforward and impressive. It takes just a single picture of a person and creates a full 3D model of them that you can actually animate. You can make the 3D model dance, walk, or move in pretty much any way you want based on a reference motion. Let me show you how it works with some examples. You start with an input image, like the picture of the person on the left here. You feed that single image into LHM, and it generates a 3D model that looks like them. Then, you can take a completely separate video, maybe someone dancing or performing an action, and use that as a motion reference. LHM will then map that motion onto the 3D character it just created, making it move just like the person in the reference video. What's amazing here is how well it preserves the details from the original photo. Look closely, her face is super accurate, the logo on her hat is clearly visible, and even the swan graphic on her shirt is replicated perfectly on the 3D model. Then, when they apply motion from a reference video, notice how precisely her 3D model follows the movements, right down to the subtle motions of her hands. And this tech isn't limited to just realistic photos. You can even feed it a 2D character illustration, like this one. LHM can still process it, create a 3D version of that character, and then, using the same reference dance video as before, make the 3D cartoon character mimic those dance moves really well. Here's another example using a fictional 2D ninja character. Same process. It creates a 3D model from the single image, and then you can make that 3D ninja dance based on the reference video movements. It's quite versatile. Now, let's be fair, the 3D models aren't absolutely photorealistic yet. If you look closely, you might still spot some minor imperfections, maybe around the edges of the body, or sometimes with the fingers. But even with those small caveats, this is honestly one of the best results I've seen so far for generating an animatable 3D human from just a single image. What's especially nice about LHM are two things. First, it's incredibly fast. It can create these 3D avatars from a single image in just a few seconds, truly blazing fast. Second, as I mentioned with the lady in the red shirt example, it does a fantastic job preserving the facial details. The face on the generated 3D model often looks almost exactly like the person in the original photograph, which is crucial for creating convincing digital humans. Their project page is loaded with a ton of other examples, so I won't go through all of them here just to save time. But the really good news for you is that they've released a demo on Hugging Face that you can try out yourself. The interface looks pretty simple. You upload your reference image of the character, upload a reference video for the motion you want, and then hit generate. Just one important heads up, because this demo generates a video output, you probably won't be able to run it using the free daily credits Hugging Face offers. You'll likely need to purchase some GPU credits to cover the processing costs for video generation. In addition to the demo, they've also put up a GitHub repository. This contains all the code and instructions you need if you want to download the model and run it locally on your own computer. And according to the info, the models themselves are actually pretty small. Even the largest version is only around 1 billion parameters. This suggests it should be quite feasible to run locally without needing a supercomputer. As always, all the necessary links are on their main page, which I'll link down below in the description for you to explore further. Alright, that's five incredible AI tools making waves right now. Pretty wild stuff, right? Let me know which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and find all the links you need in the description. Catch you in the next one.